Hello everyone, my name is Carisha Flowers and today I will be talking about Jamaica Kincaid in my oral presentation. Jamaica Kincaid was born Elaine Cynthia Potter Richardson on May 25, 1949 in St. John's Antigua in Barbuda, which is a small island in the West Indies that was colonized by the British in 1632 and gained its full independence in 1981. Um, she lived with her mother and stepfather. She was the oldest of three younger brothers, and her father was not involved in her life. She was a very intelligent young girl, but she had a rude temper, a rude attitude, and a short temper. Uh, she studied underneath the British educational system, where she spent most of her time in the library studying um, English literature. She stole books from the library and often would hide them underneath her porch. She got into fights, uh, and each time she would lose, she would come home uh, all beat up, and her mother would take her back and make them fight again until she would win, where she faced many years of abuse um, until the age of 11 when she finally won her first fight, and from there, no one ever really messed with her. Uh, she earned a scholarship to attend the Princess Margaret School at the age of 13, but her mother took her out of school to help take care of her and her family. In 1966, she was sent to work. Um, she was sent to New York to work as an au pair and to send money back to support her family. But she ignored their letters for years and never opened them. Where she later then moved to the Upper East Side, working for a wealthy couple, where they uh, where she then caught all of her connections with her family. Um, she earned what we call a GED in a community college, uh, later attending um, the New School of Social Research, uh, taking courses in photography, where she then earned a scholarship um, at the Franconia College and later dropped out. Um, from there, she began modeling and working as a secretary and a backup singer. Um, in 1970, uh, she published her first work, um, which was an interview with Gloria Steinman about her teenage years called When I Was 17. And from there, she began writing short stories. Um, in 1973, uh, that's when she decided to change her name and become Jamaica Kincaid, fearing that her family would dis disprove of her work and find her. Uh, she later met George Tro, uh, who was a publisher for the Talk of Towns column in The New Yorker. They had a very strong relationship. Um, she would often give her observations on his research, where her feedback uh, was noticed by the editor, William Sean. He then asked her to write her own piece for the column, um, and from there she began publishing regularly. Uh, she published her first work, um, Girl, uh, in 1978 which gained a lot of recognition, and then later uh, marrying the classical composer, Alan Sean, where they share a both, um, both a daughter and a son together. Um, uh, Jamaica Kincaid is a Caribbean American writer who focuses uh, most of her pieces on mother-daughter relationships, um, her personal life uh, in Antigua, and her experiences that she faced uh, as a little girl. A list of books I chose to talk about are Annie John, A Small Place, um, Lucy, At the Bottom of the River, and The Autobiography of My Mother. Annie John is about a little girl who uh, shares a great relationship with her mother. Uh, she one day stumbles um, across her parents making love and tries to make a move on her, on her mother. Uh, she's sent to a high intelligence school where she falls in love with a girl named Gwyneth. Um, at the age of at the age of fifteen, she begins writing um, after her uh, favorite author of all times, Jane Eyre. And after growing into a deep depression, she quits writing and moves to England to become a nurse. Um, a small place is a novel told in second person, placing you the reader as the tourist in Antigua, uh, with Kincaid speaking directly to you, describing the hardships and the corruptions that uh, her town has faced over the years. 
Um, she uh, gives you descriptive details, imaging the town's failures, what the buildings look like, uh, what the people look like, and what they face that are that most tourists look at as simple living. Um, and most things that, you know, the televisions don't talk about that goes unnoticed. Uh, she aggressively targets the uh, aggressively targets the reader with questions, making you critically think about certain situations. Um, a third one I'm going to talk about is Lucy. Um, and a lot of people argue that Lucy um, is where Annie John ends, but some see it as a white colonial value um, in favor of the African or the West Indi uh, Indian values. Um, but with with Kincaid's background, you know, relating to the story, Lucy uh, pushes beyond that genre. Um, it's about a young girl who is sent to New York to work as an ampere, and she enters America with no guidance and a dream, um, introduced to many, um, many unknown things that her island never had to offer. She worked for a family that helped her, um, that helped her, guided her, basically taking them in as her own, you know, putting her through school, uh, where she then joined, um, where she then went to school for nursing, um, later dropping out take and decided to take up photography because she finally realized that nursing just was not for her. That was not her destiny. Um, at the bottom of the river, uh, what is a series of poetic short stories that was published in 2010. Uh, it gives us some of her personal insights and relationships between parent and child connections, you know, nature's beauty, her favorite, um, her favorite hobby was gardening and the, um, femininity and the femininity versus masculinity relationships. Uh, it includes, you know, it includes her, her famous piece, Girl, which is a list of instructions from a mother to daughter. It includes Wingless, um, a girl seeking complete independency, ending with At the Bottom, which talks about acceptance and finally um, uh, facing reality of the everyday struggles that we face. The last book I'm going to talk about is The Autobiography of My Mother. Um, this book uh, primarily focuses on Kincaid's own life and how she felt about her mother, uh, the neglect. Um, she explains how her mother's death is what made her become so selfish, how she became so self-exiled. Um, after being sent to New York, you know, cutting all collections with her family, leaving them behind to focus solely on herself to build, to build the legacy um, that she has today. I chose these books because each one uh, descriptively gives us personal insight on Jamaica Kincaid's life and what um, what and who has influenced her to become the writer that she is today. Kincaid has earned many honorary degrees over the years. Um, she finally uh, decided to settle down in Bennington, Bern um, Vermont where she continued writing from her home. Um, she also taught creative writing at Bennington College and Harvard University. And as of 2019, Kincaid uh, currently teaches in the English, African, and African-American department at Harvard. Uh, her last novel, novel, See You Then, received the American Book Award in 2014. Uh, and she's the winner of the date at the Dan David Prize in Literature. Uh, here I have a list of her awards she has um, received for many of her accomplishments over uh, over the years. Uh, she's received the Morton DeWin uh, Zeb Award for Fiction, um, the Feminine Integration. Intergraph for my brother, which is about um, her brother who dies of AIDS, um, and then her the Before Columbus Foundation book award also for the for her novel See Now Then, along with many honorary uh, doctorates from several universities. 
And that concludes my oral presentation on Jamaican Kincaid. Thank you.